Hey everyone, it's time for more of our PHP news site tutorial series on YouTube. Um, I know I wasn't originally going to continue this series, but uh, since I received a few requests from people, I decided to keep going with it, and we're actually going to develop this into a pretty advanced uh, CMS system for you. Uh, and since we're going to have it be more complex than I originally thought, I want to spend a video of uh, reorganizing some of the stuff on the site. Now, what I mean by that is putting the header and the footer of each page into a separate file so that we only have to call that file once and then output the content to the page like that rather than the way I'm doing it right now, which is putting the header and footer statically on each page. Now, of course, this means it will load slightly faster. However, if you want to change anything, you're going to have to change it for every single page. And I decided this would be a good time to do it, since right now we only have three pages on our website, and of that, two of them are used to actually output content. The connect.php just has our information for connecting to the database. So what we're going to do is create a new file called functions.php. And right now it's only going to have two functions, but we may expand that to more in the future. So I'm just going to open up with a few PHP tags. And I'm going to start by saying require once the connect.php. Now this is because on every single page of the website we're going to require this functions.php. Now we could on every page require the functions.php and the connect.php. However, if we ever want to require even more files than that, it's just easier to require this one functions.php that will require this file. So you can put requires within requires is what I'm trying to say here. Now we're going to talk about an aspect of PHP that we haven't talked about before now, and that is writing your own PHP function. Now I know I've showed you how to use existing PHP functions, like require once, that will, that where PHP will do something for you, but now we're going to write a function so that you can do something with PHP yourself. So I'm going to call this function print header. This starts off by writing the word function and then the name of the function. Now this function name can only be one word, uh, it can be multiple words, but you have to separate them with a symbol rather than a space. Follow your function name with a open and close parentheses. Then we're going to have an open curly bracket, and then put some space, and then a closed curly bracket. Now, I know some people like to put their curly bracket on a second line. I don't, but it's up to you. Now, the nice thing about PHP, as I've said before, is it uses HTML very well. And what we can do here is actually end the PHP function or with the PHP section of code and start it again here and everything in here we can just put raw HTML rather than having to echo it out PHP will automatically echo it out for us so I'm going to copy from our blank.html file just going to copy that right into print header and that is going to be our print header function I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to make another function called print footer that's going to do exactly the same thing except we're going to call it at the end of the page rather than the beginning and what it's going to do is print out, at the moment, just end body and end HTML. Obviously, if you, if, you, if you have more complicated formatting than that, you'll put more down there. Now, uh, right now we have this page, but it won't actually do anything if we load it, because functions do not execute themselves by default. Basically, they're putting this set of code aside, saying you can use it at a future time, but we won't use it right now. So if you run this, nothing will happen. But what we want to do is go into our index.php file. Let's delete all of this header code and just start with our PHP and we're going to require once functions.php. Now again, this won't do anything because although this is taking the content and making it available for use in our index file, it is not actually um, executing the function code. So we're going to call the function print header up here and that will print out what we have here the doc type, the head, and the body. We're going to go down to the bottom here just going to get rid of that and right before our PHP ends we're going to type print footer. Now if we load up this page this is what our tutorial looked like up to now it should look exactly the same and it does. Now uh, there's one other thing I'd like to t tell you about functions and that's arguments. Now if you notice up here, instead of just typing require once, like this, um, we have something passed between the parentheses. 
Now that's called an argument in a function. Um, what it does is basically say it allows you to access a variable from within a function. Now I know that's sort of hard to explain, but let's just make an argument here called title. And let's take it, let's go to the index page and enter an argument in here. So let's just call it news site. Now if you put in quotes, that counts as one argument. If you want to have multiple arguments, you can separate them um, with uh, commas. Uh, but again, arguments, uh, if it's a string of words, you should just put it in quotes. I'm just going to say extra text. Now if we had left it like that and we had not put this in, so if we had just left it as open close parentheses, PHP would have thrown us an error because we're giving the argument of we're giving the function arguments when it's not expecting any. So we have to assign those arguments to variables. So we're going to call them title and extra text. Now, if we go into our function, we can access those variables. So between the title tags, I'm going to put php echo title. Oops. Hit my microphone there. Uh, so now for the title of the page, we're going to have new site. And this will allow us to customize our site a lot more rather than just having a blank title. Um, so if we load that up, you can see up in the corner here of Google Chrome, we have new site as our title of the page. I didn't use the extra text that I'm not going to, and that's probably just going to confuse things later, so I'm just going to take it out. Uh, but you understand how to do multiple arguments. And one other thing about arguments is that you don't always have to pass them through. If I were to leave it blank the way it is, if I just called it the original way we did, the same way print footer's doing it with open close parentheses, PHP would be expecting an argument but not getting any, and this would make it throw an error. However, if we don't give it an argument, let's just get rid of this right now, we can give this variable a default value. So right up here, we, uh, if we want to make this title default to something, we can type something in with an equal sign. So just say default title. So now if we load the page, note that I took the title out of there. Uh, here we go. We have default title up there. And just to prove that uh, if you do pass the title in through the function, uh, the default will not be used. So I typed, oops, I typed new site in for the, uh, t for the argument here but the default of default title will not be used. So if we load that up in Google Chrome, we can see that new site is the title that we want to use. And one other thing before we finish, I'm just going to put a little bit of CSS in here, um, just because I have this personal hatred towards Times New Roman. I'm just going to style the body with font family of Arial. So that'll just make it look a little nicer. I'm not going to focus on styling, as you've seen from uh, the rest of this tutorial. Um, the fact that this is really just text. But uh, that's just something I wanted to add. So hopefully this will make it easier for us to uh, work with our page in the future. And hopefully add more functions to our functions.php as our site gets bigger. So we'll, t we'll talk about uh, adding more functions in the next video or the video after that.